Hey, I'm Kira and this is my husband Tommy and our two amazing kids Kaylee and Jackson. We decided to fill a lifelong dream of ours and buy a bus to convert into a motorhome and hit the road full time. Follow along to watch us renovate this bad girl into our new home on wheels and check out all the fun and adventures we get up to while travelling Australia full time with kids. Hey guys, um, if you've watched part one of this video, you would already know that we had a bit of a slack time videoing over the last couple of weeks. So this is part two of that video. A lot has been done since then. Um, so this is just a bit of a catch up um, and then there'll be some more videos of really exciting stuff coming up. Uh, we've been doing kitchen, bathroom, the whole lot. It's all coming together really nicely now. Um, but basically this is a really quick recap of what we did to get us up to this point. Enjoy. I'm up here all of my little lonesome today in full prep mode because we are just sending back all the walls in the whole entire place, all the edges, everything getting it ready for painting next week because we're on the home stretch. We are moving in real soon. We are on our time, so we just need to get it looking good, livable, okay to move into, and we are just gonna get it done. So stay tuned, I'll share with you what I get up to. show you guys we've got some deliveries from tint paint so i'm going to start getting into the painting i'll just show you this one this is the main bedroom feature wall let us know what color you think it is super exciting i can't wait and then this big box is the main everywhere paint so i'm keen to get in and check it all out i'll show you guys opening it up and show you what's all included. There's all kinds of good stuff. So you get a few different trays with it. Awesome little angle brush, a few rollers and a little paint pot. Make it easy for all the tight spaces in the bus. Smaller rollers for those little spots as well. Sanding sponge. Perfect. A sheet or oh, a couple of sheets. And that's all in their toolkit that comes as well. These paints are really good. They are like 99% VOC free, which is awesome for small confined spaces. And let me put it back up here so you can actually see my face. Um, they're Australian owned and made. They're 99% VOC free. They have awesome coverage and durability and you can get all kinds of different colors and shades and they can send you out samples as well. So keen to give it a go. Good morning, good morning. We have a big day today, it is Saturday, and we are on the hunt for roofing. Oh gosh, sorry, it's very bumpy. Uh, roofing or ceiling for the interior of our bus. Um, we thought we knew what we wanted, but we just want to check with the timber supply place in Maribara to make sure that if it gets damp or wet or anything, in case there's a leak, it won't swell and damage. So we're going to try and find the right stuff so we're going to head up to Maribara building supplies and have a chat with them and see what they recommend but first I'm going to stop by the bakery and get some snacks some brekkie Right, oh, it is day two at the bus. We have, um, this week we're gonna be focusing on the roof. We've picked this material, which is um, 11 mil thick pine. Um, comes in 5.4 meter length, and it costs about 11 bucks at Bunnings. 
Um, so it, it's going to be fairly expensive the roof, but I think it's the look that it's going to give, I believe it's worth it. Um, so yesterday, because we're putting the roof up, we had to sort out a fair bit of electrical, so making all of the droppers for the down lights, all the electrical stuff has to be in place before we put the roof up. Um, so that was yesterday, there's a few little bits to finish off, but today we're really going to be focusing on the roof. So really exciting, really excited to show you how it's going to go. Um, if you've got any questions, drop it below in the comments, um, and yeah, we'll put a couple of time lapses on because we want to be listening to music, so ciao. Tommy's just making the cuts outside so it can slip right into the window frame. So it'll go flush with the window around these surfaces and all the way out pretty much in line with there. Then we'll have the two bars and then the lounge will go here. Keen. Right, oh, it is the end of another week. Um, it's been a short but busy week. Um, we're moving out of our house tomorrow, so um, unable to spend that day up here with the bus. Um, but it's been a pretty good, good week. As you can see, there's a lot of timber been cut up. Um, our main focus this week has been finishing off electrical as much as possible so that we're able to fit the roof. Um, early in the week, I did fit this Victron unit. Um, but that's been put on the back burner until we get some batteries and some solar, which will be next week. Hopefully we'll get an electrical day um, next week. So this has been put on the back burner to make way for the roofing. Um, so we started in the same corner as we did with the flooring, just so we have a nice straight edge and then we can work our way over and along. Um, and it's come up really nice. We're really happy with it. Um, we're getting some down lights, or we've got some down lights. Um, so we've got all these droppers, all the electrical stuff is in place. So I just need to wire up things like the, the switches. Um, so coming down here, this is our bedroom at the moment, which is looking absolutely awesome. Um, Kira's just doing the last few slats so that we can bring our mattress up tomorrow. Uh, we're not moving in just yet, but we need to get the mattresses out of our shed at home. Um, so we'll be bringing up all the mattresses tomorrow. Um, and then next week we'll finish off that far corner, or that far edge. Um, the reason why I haven't done that yet is because I need to tidy up and finish off that wiring harness. Um, and wrap it and make it all nice and safe. Um, same within here, and then we'll do the kids, the kids area. Um, it's going to look really good actually. Um, the bathroom is completely isolated. Kira's been busy in here painting um, and it's looking awesome. So she's got nice feature wall um, as well as the cupboard. This will be the um, like where we put our toothpaste and toothbrushes and things. This will be a little vanity obviously. Um, 
again with the feature wall here has picked this awesome color um, just really make it all pop and also painted in the little nooks that we've got here so she's going for the, the hobo look boho boho <laughs> boho it's going for the boho look um, so um, also did um, so most of the low voltage stuff is already done um, the 12 and 240 volt circuits are um, all run just need to wire up the switches um, and put the lights in um, and then it's all pretty much done um, yeah that's it for this week um, if you haven't already it'd be really awesome if you subscribe press that bell thing get notifications and all that um, so yeah that's it for this week and um, yeah we'll see you in a couple of weeks um, yeah ciao